dear students after studying this module you shall be able to know the importance of carbonyl compounds design the synthesis of carbonyl compounds using reversal of polarity understand the synthetic pathways of carbonyl compounds using aldol condensation do the retrosynthetic and synthetic pathways of carbonyl compounds using michael reaction carbonyl compounds are an important class of compounds in organic chemistry any compounds possessing the group c double bond o comes under the category of carbonyl compounds or its derivatives the carbonyl carbon is sp2 hybridized with its three attached atoms lying in the same plane the three attached atoms possess bond angles of 120 degrees for a trigonal planar structure in the carbonyl compounds the carbonyl oxygen is more electronegative than the carbonyl carbon the carbonyl oxygen bears a substantial partial negative charge whereas the carbonyl carbon bears a substantial positive partial charge the synthetic and the retrosynthetic analysis of these compounds are required for their utility synthesis of carbonyl compounds by diethane method the design and synthesis of 1 cyclohexyl 4 phenyl butane 2 on is explained using retrosynthetic analysis the retrosynthetic approach involves the bond between c2 and c3 of 1 cyclohexyl 4 phenyl butane 2 on to be cleaved to get two fragments one positive charge and the other is negative charge as represented in the figure these fragments further get cleaved to get the desired synthons as can be seen c2 c3 bond gets cleaved leading to the formation of the two charged species both can be then traced back to form the bromo reagents which can in turn be used as the synthons for the preparation of the desired product synthesis the 1 cyclohexyl 4 phenyl butane to own has been synthesized in the six steps using the retrosynthetic analysis as explained in the figure in the step 1 the carbonyl group of formaldehyde is protected using propane 13 diethyl using the lewis acid or a bronsted acid to form protected carbonyl compound the compound 3 on reaction with the base butyl lithium forms the corresponding carbonyl 4 the carbonyl 4 so formed then reacts with the bromomethyl cyclohexane and forms the compound 5 the compound 5 on further again the reaction with the base butyl lithium forms the corresponding anion 6 the anion 6 formed on the reaction with 2 bromoethyl benzene forms the condensed product 7 the compound 7 is then hydrolyzed under the acidic conditions using mercury chloride to deprotect the carbonyl group and form the final desired product 8 the carbonyl compounds can be produced by aldol condensation in organic chemistry an aldol condensation is a condensation reaction where reaction takes place between a carbonyl compound and an enol or an enolate ion to form a beta hydroxy aldehyde or beta hydroxy ketone this is followed by dehydration to give a conjugated enone the synthesis of 7a methyl 1 2 5 6 7 7a hexa hydroindenone involves the aldol condensation figure gives the retrosynthetic analysis and synthesis of this compound respectively the retrosynthetic approach of the compound 9 which is 7a methyl 1 2 5 6 
seven seven a hexa hydro indene four ohm undergoes a functional group interconversion to develop a hydroxyl group at the beta position of the molecule nine. Further, fragmentation gives the desired synthons and corresponding reagents. It is very evidently seen from the figure how this fragmentation takes place by the cleavage of the carbon-carbon bond leading to the formation of the ionic species which can then be traced back for the required reagents which can be used to produce the desired product. Looking into the synthesis, the synthesis of the given compound can be achieved in six steps as per the disconnection approach explained in the figure. In the step 1, the carbonyl group of 3 bromopropanol which is represented by the structure 10 is protected by using ethylene glycol under the acidic conditions to form the protected carbonyl compound. The protected carbonyl compound on reaction with lithium followed by the cuprous iodide forms organocuprate or Gilman's reagent. This is represented by the structure 13. The Gilman's reagent then reacts with the conjugated carbonyl compound which is 3 methyl cyclohex 2 ene on to form the compound 15. The condensed compound 15 which is formed is deprotected by hydrolysis under the acidic conditions to form the compound 16. The compound 16 under the basic condition undergoes aldol condensation to form 17. The aldol product 17 undergoes dehydration on heating to form the desired product 7A methyl 1256777A hexahydroindene 4 ohm as represented by the structure 9. Carbonyl compounds using Michael reaction. The Michael addition is a thermodynamically controlled 1, 4 addition of a resonance stabilized carbon ions. The reaction donors are active methylene compounds possessing acidic protons such as malonates and nitroalkanes etc. The acceptors for these reactions are the activated olefins such as alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds. Let us look into the synthesis of 1,5 dicarbonyl compounds, heptane 2,6 dione. Retrosynthetic analysis. The disconnection approach for hept 2,6 dione represented by structure 18 is given in the figure. It involves the heterolytic cleavage of C3, C4 bond which gives the carbon ion 19 and a carbocation 20. These compounds can be obtained back from the reagents 21 and 22. Synthesis. The synthesis of hept 2,6 dione can be achieved in three steps as per the disconnection approach explained in the figure. The reaction of acetone 21 with the base sodium hydroxide forms the resonance stabilized carbon ion. The carbon ion so formed reacts with but 3 in 2 on represented by the structure 22 to give the corresponding condensed product 23. This product on acidic hydrolysis forms the enol which undergoes keto enol tautomerism to form the products heptane 2, 6 dione. Retrosynthetic analysis. The retrosynthetic analysis of 4 oxo 2, 6 diphenyl cyclohexane 1, 1 dicarboxylic acid diethyl ester as shown by the structure 25 is given in the figure. According to the disconnection approach, the compound 25 can be synthesized from 1, 5 diphenyl pentane 1, 4 diene. 3 ohm presented by structure number 26 and diethyl malonate as represented in the structure 27. 
it can be evidently seen that how the cleavage of the carbon carbon bond leads to the formation of the two synthons as a precursor for the formation of the desired product. The synthesis of the given same compound can be carried out using the synthons as represented above. The synthesis of 4 oxo 2 6 diphenyl cyclohexane 1 1 dicarboxylic acid diethyl ester can be achieved in 4 steps as per the disconnection approach explained in the figure. The reaction of diethyl malonate with a base sodium ethoxide leads to the formation of a resonance stabilized carbonyl 28. The carbonyl so formed reacts with 1 5 diphenyl pentane 1 4 diene 3 ohm as shown in the structure 26 to give the corresponding condensed product 29. The product so formed then undergoes the acidic hydrolysis to form the enol 30 which in turn further undergoes the keto enol tautomerism to form the product 31 and leading to the formation of a keto form. The keto form undergoes cyclization to give the enol form 32 that on tautomerization gives the desired product 25. To summarize, the carbonyl carbon is sp2 hybridized with its 3 attached atoms lying in the same plane. The synthesis of carbonyl compounds can be achieved by diethane method. Aldol condensation is another important method for the synthesis of carbonyl compounds. The synthesis of 7A methyl 125677A hexahydroindene 4 on involves aldol condensation. Michael addition is also being used for the synthesis of the carbonyl compounds. The retrosynthetic analysis and synthesis of heptane. 2,6-dione has been explained using Michael reaction. Synthesis of 4-oxo-2,6-diphenyl cyclohexane 1,1-dicarboxylic acid diethyl ester has been achieved by using the Michael reaction.